Hello everyone and welcome back to Technuovo. My name's Steph and I wanted to share with you an experience we had with a self-driving car at CES 2020. The car is owned by the company Yandex, who have a history in information technology. Some feats include becoming Russia's search engine of choice with a 52% market share, and they also have an online music service, social networking sites, and most notably, and one that relates to today's video, a map service which includes GPS support. Now this is where their self-driving car comes in. They gave their first rides in the US, and Nick and I were among the first to experience the futuristic technology. Now the only experience we've had with self-driving car so far here in the UK are the horror stories coming from testing these vehicles. Now nothing scary happened on our ride, but I couldn't help but feeling quite nervous sitting in the back of the car with no driver. So Nick and I, along with two reps, were crammed into a Toyota Prius. Not the biggest of cars, but roomy enough. There was a rep in the middle seat and an engineer in the front passenger seat, as laws state there must be a responsible person inside the car. Now laws dictate that you are not allowed a totally autonomous car on the road yet. So let's talk about the Toyota itself. It's fitted with an array of radars, lidars and cameras which can detect what's going on in the world around them. There are also five cameras mounted around the car which captures 360 degree video and combined the car can detect objects up to 200 meters away. These are things like cars, bikes and pedestrians, even bollards and barriers that could impede entry into a car park are noticed as well. Now all this information is then processed by a computer that's stored in the back in the place where you'd usually find a spare tire. The computer is custom built and uses software created by the Yandex team. Inside of the car there were two tablet screens. The first was next to the engineer in the front so he could keep tabs on the surrounding environment and the second was attached to the rear center console so we could see what was going on. Cars appeared as rectangles and pedestrians appeared as little dots. Everything was there and it was amazing to see that the car could map out what was going on real time and display it for us. It'll only be a matter of time before the tablet could display a real life feed. The map on the tablet also showed us a mapped route and also let us know if the route had to change due to traffic buildup or even an accident in the road. Okay, so being honest, the technology wasn't perfect and there were some times where the car confused people standing at the side of the road for potential hazards crossing, which caused the car to bump towards right and left hand turns as the car couldn't quite figure out whether people were just standing there or where people were crossing or whether the car was just being extra cautious while we were cruising though down four lane roads the car managed to stop smoothly behind vehicles and even recognized red lights to stop at intersections the car was also on a predefined route so the index team could easily map excruciatingly small details to provide us with the smoothest ride possible so we weren't able to really gauge how this car would act if you got in and told it to go from point a to point b but nevertheless i was left extremely impressed and it was an amazing experience witnessing the future of automobiles Automobiles. Sure, we're probably not going to see fully autonomous cars driving around anytime soon, and due to laws and regulations of countries and even individual states in America, they've got a long way to come before they'll be released into the world. But saying that, it sure is fantastic seeing companies innovating like this to a point where we can experience it ourselves, even if it was for only 15 minutes. So thank you very much for checking out our video of our first look of the Yandex self-driving car at CES 2020. If you enjoyed this video, then do click that like button. Please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments below what you thought about this self-driving car, whether you would trust getting in something like this, or you would rather have someone physically sitting behind the wheel. As I say, let us know in the comments below. And also don't forget to check out the rest of our CES 2020 content over on our playlist which should be on your screen somewhere now. As I say, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.